find your way back home So today I filmed this really really pretty fun festival inspired look for you guys I use all affordable products in this makeup tutorial So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching Alright guys, so let's get started As you guys can see I already got my base on and my eyebrows I have filmed a video which I'll leave them on top here Okay, so today we're going to be using the brand new Morphe 35R palette I literally just got in the post yesterday So I'm on it guys, I'm going to film with it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to show you what it looks like inside because it's so beautiful it has four rows of matte shades and then it also has three rows of shimmer okay so first off we're gonna go for this color here this is like a matte brown i'm just gonna start off by putting my brush just right in the outer corners and do like a v so go in on my inner corners i'm gonna create like a spotlight eye today me thinks so i don't have any eyeshadow base on i don't really use many eyeshadow bases because i feel like if you layer up your eyeshadow properly no matter how oily it is it's gonna last guys you just need to do really light layers if you guys hear crazy people talking in the background my crazy Vietnamese family you know us Vietnamese people like to fucking shout when we're speaking so literally I just do outer corner inner corner and I don't even worry about blending yet this is all about putting on the product first to kind of get the initial shape that we want you guys can see I'm just literally picking up the same shade with the brush and what you want to do is just slowly build up the color every time I pick up more product you can see the color is starting to get more and more intense more of the eyeshadow palettes I know it gets so much slate and people say it's not the best quality but I think honestly it works so so well so you guys want to work on the same eyes at the same time and that will help you get the most symmetry on both eyes and it helps you kind of make sure both eyes are as dark as each other because I've done it before where I've done one eye and then the other eye I didn't do it quite as the same and you can really see a difference especially out in sunlight you see one's got black and one's light brown and you're like oh shit do you guys see this one's really small and this one's fucking hella winged right now so you want to take the eyeshadow a bit higher and then because I have less product on the brush it's slowly starting to go a bit lighter it's all going to be blended out anyway but you always want to make sure you kind of get the initial shape and then it'll be so much easier to blend <laughs> looking all crazy but this is is literally just from one eyeshadow guys crazy right okay so now we want to kind of fade all this out because as you guys can see it's like a harsh line and that ain't cute all right guys i'm gonna go with my mac 224 brush this is a fluffy one i'm gonna go with this shade here it's a bit more peachy this shade's gonna be the middle between the dark and my skin color so this is one that's gonna help fade the eyeshadow back up to your skin tone so now with this brush i literally just go on top of that dark eyeshadow color and this is where it starts to kind of fade out and become a lot more like <laughs> I want this look I think to be really like cat eye today I think that'll look really really cool especially when your hair's up and that slip back you know when you do this you are going to find that the intensity is not going to be as dark anymore so you do need to go back in and redefine the darkness again so back in with the smaller brush that we used earlier the same shade and then start to define that crease again so you literally just go back and forth between the two brushes and it just helps it all blend and fade in together and then i'm also going to do the same with this inner corner here going in with the lighter color with the bigger brush and the smaller the brush the darker the eyeshadow the bigger the brush the lighter the eyeshadow good tip to remember when blending all right guys so just underneath my eyes i'm going to be using this eyeliner from l'oreal it's called super cooper <laughs> It's like a really nice warm chocolate brown. And I'm just going to fade this that down underneath. I'm literally just going to fade and blend this all out just with my fingers. Just so it's not like a harsh line. And I'm just leaving like a gap in the centre on the top and bottom. Because we're going to put like a pop of colour there. <laughs> okay then just underneath my eyes to just set the eyeliner. I'm going to go in with this middle shade here with my Eco Tools brush. And then I'm just going to go right on top just to really deepen that shade up. And then I'm just going to flip it over to the other side. Pick up some product just to blend that out so it's not like a harsh two dashes, you know. I'm just going to go in a little bit of the deeper shade here. And I'm going to bring it really close to my bottom lash line just to add depth just by the root of the lashes. So I'm just going to pick up my Makeup Fixing Mist from Pixie. Any Fixing Mist will do. Just to lightly wet the brush. And this is the 234 brush from Zoeva, it's a brand new spanking one. 
As you guys can see, it's so white. Normally, mine are all yellow and stained. And I'm just going to go in with this shade here. This was the shade that caught my eye the most. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to go in with this one here. And then just in the centre, we're going to pop this bad boy on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Literally looks like a freaking sunset on the eye. So I'm only packing it on in the centre. And I'm just dotting my brush around. Just round like this whatever this motion is if i keep swiping and patting it's gonna drop a lot of eyeshadow so if you kind of just lightly pat rather than swipe cause sometimes you swipe it'll kick up a lot of like eyeshadow from the brush onto your cheek instead of your eye because you want it to be like matte matte and then like a pop of like a really bright goldy yellow okay so now that you have the goldy shade in the middle underneath i'm gonna do a slightly different shade just so that it looks like it's a bit more like ombre so it's going like light to dark you know so i'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and just rub it on my pajama pants to get rid of the excess color and we're gonna go back with the same brush and i'm gonna go in with this shade here from the morphe palette and this is just a little bit deeper than the gold so this is just gonna go underneath in the middle section so it's a little bit more like orangey underneath okay so now that it's all like bronzy and stuff i feel like i want to add like a pop of color you know i feel like this is such a cool festival look i think it's so nice to add just a little a little blue this is totally optional you can totally add brown into your waterline or even a nude if you want to make your eyes a bit more wider but i love color so i'm gonna go with this pavot eyeliner this is number 71 and these are so nice they're so waterproof and so 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 affordable they do so many different shades i literally just use my finger and i pull down the lid and that makes it so much easier to get right inside that eyelid skin you know okay so now that we've got our eyeliner on i'm gonna put on my lashes i'm not gonna do eyeliner today because i feel like i want this look to look really nice and open so we're gonna do some mascara i'm gonna use the maybelline the falsies push it up angel mascara this is mascara is so cool guys look at it it's like one of those like plastic ones i used to hate ones like this but it's so good when you want to blend in your natural lashes to your falsies and i literally have like three hairs so i'm just coating those three hairs <laughs> all right the lashes i'm going to use is from this brand called awa and this is available in super drug it's super super affordable and they're like faux mink lashes so they're super nice cruelty free and they're really really wispy they're really good dupes for the farah lashes by huda beauty all right guys so i just put on my lashes oh my god they're so beautiful i love these lashes so much it's really nice and sultry and i just feel like lashes they just finish a look you know i've been loving doing lashes without no liner because normally i'm such an eyeliner gal but i'm loving the look with no eyeliner because it makes my lid space look so much more open you know you still want to make sure you do the bold chickens you guys know i did fill that in just with black eyeliner from l'oreal and then just on my lips i want to go with quite a dark shade i think will look really cool and vampy with this look because i've been using quite a lot of light nudes recently and i just want to switch up a bit so i'm gonna stick with the really affordable theme and i'm gonna go in with this guess what this is from guys this is from primark a lip kit from primark oh, primark's up in the game yes this is in a style called chocolate brownie and it's called get lippy matte collection kylie jenner eat your heart out primark's coming for you oh. inside of the kit you get one liquid lipstick that dries matte and you also get a lip line as well i don't think i'll use a lip line i'm just gonna go straight in with the liquid lipstick and this is what the shade looks like it's like quite a deep browny kind of shade i think it'll go really nice with the eyes god the formula of these are really pigmented mm, i like it it's a little patchy just in certain areas so i just have to go over them a couple times but i can literally see it's like super matte already <laughs> all right guys so i just got my lip on oh my god it's so beautiful the color is so matte you can literally see it's literally like velvet it's really dry as well it doesn't feel tacky at all i like it i love the color guys chocolate brown and go primark yeah girl go primark <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with some highlighter i do have some highlighter on from a video i filmed earlier but i'm gonna go in this makeup revolution highlighter this is called the vivid baked highlighter in the shade golden light and of course i'm gonna go with my morphe r36 brush and then just go on top and just give me that soft glow you know yes bridge of the nose forehead i think we shine like a goddess yes yes this highlighter i used to be so obsessed with it and i stopped using it for a while because i found other stuff but every time i put it on i'm like oh oh mm. i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i think this would be so nice for like festival looks you know it just looks really nice and vampy cool kind of bohemian kind of like the sunset on my eyes until you find your way back home <laughs>
enjoyed it i use all affordable products in this video so let me know if you enjoyed that and if you want to see more videos like this please comment down below and give me a thumbs up it really really does help my channel out so so much make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms it's just x tweely on snapchat twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys free bubble tea it looks so crazy in here in real life it looks really blended on camera it looks like Colors fire! Fire! What are you doing here? Finito! Finito! Okay, hurry up. Your battery's dead. That's why I hurry up. Damn time, mate. Look, for you go. Oh, fuck's sake. My mouth's so dry! I've got to lift my hands. Okay, okay, that sounds good enough. Not too many takes. Yeah, yes. Yes, this glow on the shoulder though. Ding, 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 ding. Fire! Boya, kisha! Boya, kisha! Okay, now it's time to pose. Yes! My favorite part. Okay, bye now.